trajectory of the cast. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to change the trajectory of both the back cast and the forward cast, depending on what we're trying to achieve. Okay, here we are. We're going to make a nice high back cast. The trajectory has gone up. We know we need that. Or do we always need that? Not necessarily. If, for instance, there's a strong tailwind, we want to keep that line low. If we stick that line really high like that, that wind's just going to catch it and blow it forward and create slack in the line. Sometimes we want a nice low trajectory and a, and a high trajectory on the forward cast. Okay. I talked about a high trajectory there on the forward cast. In the double hole tutorial, we talked about using the double hole for distance. Well, you have to use the double hole for distance in conjunction with a high trajectory forward cast. There's no point creating high line speed on a level trajectory because the line hasn't got long enough in the air to, for, to fly as far as it needs to. We need to buy some time, you know, a bit like the cannonball being shot or the javelin. You don't throw a javelin level because it's just going to land in the ground way, way short. You give it a nice high forward trajectory and that's exactly the same with our fly line. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a nice high back cast. We're going to drop the rod tip. So now we, we've got an angle to create a nice high forward trajectory. And the line just sails out a long, long way. That's how we get distance. We don't just put more energy in. To create distance, we need a nice high forward trajectory. In conjunction with the double haul, you can get long, long distances and it still looks easy and effortless. And that's what fly casting should be. It should be effortless. It's all about technique. It's not about strength. It's not about physicality. It doesn't exclude certain people with certain body types. It's just all about what the rod and the line need to work together correctly. We know we need a nice high back cast drift, a nice high forward trajectory and a double haul. And that gives us long, I don't know, 70, 80 foot casts like that. High trajectory. 